Helen Patrick from the Madeline and Mommy Show, and I'm here at the Florida State Fair. And today I'm with Dwayne. And tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here, Dwayne. Oh my God, we sell fun. We sell pool tables, Pac Man machines, anything for a or my friends, a man cave. But we sell fun. How long have you been doing this? Oh my word, great question. We've been doing this for three decades. And I know I don't look that old, but you know what? A sexy, bad old man looks good. <laughs> so what inspired you into starting to do all of this? Because I wanted to have fun. That's the only reason? Yes, and so we make a lot of money. So, yeah, what is it that you're selling here to make a lot of money at? We sell fun. We, sell, we actually sell more pinball machines than anybody else in North America. And then we sell pool tables, Pac-Man machines, shuffleboard tables, air hockey tables, anything that you want to have fun. That's awesome. Where can we find you on the internet? Oh my word. You can find us at reaphomegamers.com. Is there anything else that you'd like to add to the business to know? Oh my God. This is the best business. We have the best service. And we've been doing this again for three decades. How many people have been in business for three decades? Congratulations, and many more to come. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ellen Patrick, and I'm still here at the Florida State Fair. And today I'm here at Alessi's Bakery with... Wow, how do you feel? Hello, Brooklyn. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Well, you see, we have, we have the double crowd, 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 a little bit of everything. So tell us how long have you been doing this? Me personally, it's been my third or four year doing this. My dad and my dad have been doing this for uh, over 30 years. 30 years Alessis has been in business in Tampa, Florida. For over 100 years. Wow, that's fantastic. So tell us a little bit about the history of that if you play. So we first started out with my great, 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 great grandma. He started out just with a cart of bread, going around New York City selling all that, and then it just eventually grew to pastries, Cuban sandwiches, just everything. And then have one location on Cypress Street in West Tampa, and we do everything from desserts to any. So where can we find you on the internet? So unless you make it on home. Um, everything you can get on their website. Is there anything else that you'd like to add to the listeners to know? Just stop by, give us a visit, and yep. you guys are wearing the Expo? Yeah, Expo Hall. Over here at the Florida State Fairground. Woohoo! Alright, thank you so much for taking the time. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm here today with. Nick Straits. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what it is that you're doing here at the Florida State Fair this year? Oh, uh, we have a great team and uh, they come here so very important. Wow, good for you. So what inspired you to get started in all of this? Well, it's a family tradition. Father, grandfather. What type of concession are we talking about? A little food concession, Greek and uh, sausage. I see a lot of pita bread. And uh, Tell us a little bit about your menu real quick. Uh, the traditional stuff, uh, gyros, sublakia. Uh, we've got the chicken pita, Greek salad. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. So what inspired you into getting started into all of this? Well, like I said, it was a family tradition. Kind of really enjoyed growing up in it, spending time with the family, and just stayed in it. Where can we find you on the internet? Uh, we're not on there. Oh, okay. So where can we find you here at the Florida State Fair? Uh, right, right outside okay. the Expo Ready? Hall building. So if you're coming in from 301 and you park there, and you come through the Expo Hall, we're around the outside. I see you got chicken pita. Is that the best yeah. thing? It is really good, but the euros are really top shelf. Top shelf. I think I'm going to try some. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Yay. Over here. Yay. Pizza bread toasted, so it's not never cold and hard. Ooh, that pita Tough bread looks amazing. Toasted. Yeah. Yep. So with, this will be the next pita, and the next one after that, so it'll always be fresh and toasted. And the euro is not held in water. It's held on the grill, but at very low temperature. So it's not burnt, and it's not it's not in water. How about the taste? Yes, I would love to. Mm, very good. Yeah, and it's not dry. 
you guys need to stop in here and check the spot out. Florida State Fair 2023. Thank you so much for your time. From the Madeline Mommy Show, and I'm here today with... Smokey the Bear. I grew up loving Smokey the Bear. Tell us a little bit about what he's doing over here at the Florida State Fair. Larson over here, out here, you know, showing up and uh, yeah, one minute, so yeah, spreading the word of fire safety and the importance of staying safe while using fire while we head into the wildfire season now. Where can we find you guys on the internet? Oh, we're on social media, a Florida Forest Four Service, most places. Just look up Florida Four Forest Service and you can find us. You never have to take to call your local Florida Four Forest Service office if you're ever unsure about any fire burning regulations or restrictions. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Ellen Patrick, and I'm still here at the Florida State Fair, and I'm currently with Danielle. So, Danielle, tell us a little bit about what it is that you're doing here today. We are in the Giant Strawberry, and we sell frozen tropical drinks and Dole Whip. Dole Whip is just like sauce and ice cream, but it's non-dairy, and it's concentrated fruit. Oh, my God. I love Dole Whip. Yes. I do. All right, let me get you some of that Awesome. And here's our uh, pineapple whip. Oh my god, I gotta try this, guys. Mmm. So, I'm just gonna so tell us a little bit, because this is kind of like, it's really good for diet, right? Yes, um, just because it's made from the concentrated fruit, there is a little bit of added sugar into it, but it's still good for you, because it is fruit. How long have you been doing this? I've been out here nine years. This company has been here for three years, and we also do the Kansas City Strawberry Festival. That is our favorite festival. We are the giant strawberry at Strawberry Festival. Obviously, and you also offer strawberry gold too. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, what inspired you to get started in all of this? I decided that I want to have fun for the rest of my life, and fairs are so much fun. They definitely are. Where can we find you on the internet? Uh, we have the Giant Strawberry as the Facebook page, and then um, just the Magrosa Foods also. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to talk to us. Absolutely. Thanks for coming by. Bye. Hi, I'm Ellen Patrick, and I'm still here at the Florida State Fairground, and I'm talking to... Greg Miller. Greg, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today? We're making the crowd of these folks happy. We're selling turkey legs. Oh my God, I love turkey legs. How long have you been doing this? We've been at this fair for about 30 years now. I, mean, I don't look that old, I know. It's a little confusing. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in the turkey leg business about 20 years. For you, what inspired you into getting started in all of this? I was actually looking for a job in the concession business. It's something I'm trying to get into, and uh, here I am. We've got a, we got several stands around the fairgrounds. So we've been building this for years. Oh, nice. And you do, you have, I know you not only do turkey legs, but you also do have a corn we do. stand. And yeah, we have a we have a corn stand, we have two French fry corn dog stands, and we have a steak and a chicken on a stick. Moonshine chicken on a stick. Oh, moonshine. See, I'm from West Virginia. Yeah. And we drink a lot of moonshine up there, so we just put it in the chicken. Is that drunken chicken? Oh, man. <laughs> That's safe. That's safe. Well, where, where can we find you on the internet? Oh, no, I'm at sites you probably don't want to go to. Uh-oh. Oh, oh <laughs> no. I was thinking maybe you might have a website. I do not have a website. Oh, that's okay. But I, I do have a Facebook page. Yeah. No, 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 Okay. And is there anything else that you would like to add to listeners to know? <laughs> you guys are. And where are you located? Uh, next to Cracker Country. The bridge. There's a bridge going to the main Midway world. Right across Cracker Country. Perfect. Well, I can't wait to try some of your uh, property. It's all over the yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. Thank you. The time you that I could see. But before too long, I fell in love with her. Well, now I'm and I'm still here at the Florida State Fair, and I am talking to Drew Juan. So tell us a little bit about what it is that you're doing here this year. So we, uh, I run Lobster Dogs, which is our food truck here. We specialize in lobster rolls and stuffed avocados. Our food is on the side right there. Uh, so we're a little bit unique. We're not your traditional lobster roll. We're kind of a hybrid where we, we are cold, but we're still kind of plain like your Connecticut style. So we're a split top bun, 
uh, swipe of mayonnaise, fresh cold main lobster, uh, and then hot butter and seasoning on a really kind of well-balanced thing. So definitely come check us out. Very exciting. You guys are new to the Florida State Fair this yes. year, is that right? Yes, so this is our first time. So we're very excited to be here and show some unique things. Uh, we also have avocado to do with things. So what inspired you to getting started into all of this? Uh, so I've always been in the food industry, uh, you know, so it's nice to kind of be able to try something a little different and, and you know, show you guys what we can do and you know, the unique things we, we like to offer. So where can we find you on the internet? Do you have a website or anything? Absolutely. So the best way to find us is on Facebook, Lobster Dogs Food Truck Tampa. Uh, we post our schedule weekly and you can see our menu and, and kind of where we're going to be for the is there anything else that you'd like to add for the listeners to know? Come check us out. Come enjoy the fair. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun out here. It's our first time, but uh, it's a lot of fun. So come check us out. What's your booth number? Good question. You're over here. Uh, uh, by, find the big slide and then. Uh, the big gigantic yeah, slide. Big slide and there and they are. The, uh, special event center. I think right we're there. gonna have to try one of those lobster rolls and check it out. Please do. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Ellen Patrick. Still here with the Madeline and Mommy Show, and I'm talking to. I'm Alan Lowstetter with Lowstetter Designs. Cool, Alan. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today? Well, we're a family-owned and operated business. We uh, obviously make wooden flags. We turn them into concealment boxes and coat racks. We also razor engrave on tumblers. And then over here we put uh, your family photo, wedding pictures, baby pictures on wood. How cool is that? So how long have you been doing all of this? We are going on four years. Nice. And what inspired you into getting started into all of this? I'm tired of corporate America. <laughs> you know, that seems to be like the answer over here at the fair. That's what everybody said, that they just got tired of their job and they wanted to do something else. I started my first company when I was 14 and then uh, ugly things happened when I was 30 and got divorced. And when I moved to Vegas, became a poker dealer, table games dealer, and I just got tired. I wanted to go back to working for myself and doing Awesome. So do you have a website? Where can we find you on the internet? You can find us on the internet. Website at lowstutterdesigns.com, uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the social media. Is there anything else that you would like to add for the listeners to know? Being a family oriented business, uh, we enjoy it. What puts a smile on our face is bringing great memories and products to, to customers that make them tear up and tear up with them. Thank you so much for your time today. We truly appreciate you. Bye. Bye. Spin the wheel. Whoa. So you got a cookie. I got a cookie. Yay. 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 Show. I'm here today at the Florida State Fairgrounds with Alejandra. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here tonight? So we do all time photos. The family owned business. Um, people come in here, they dress up, they decide to want to dress like the westerns, of the, the roaring twins, the gangsters, or the Victorians. People have a lot of family, welcome couples, kids, um, big family. How long have you been doing this? Uh, personally, for four years. This is my husband's business, and his family has been doing it for the last 30 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, what got you guys into doing all this? Well, it's really fun for us. We get to travel a lot. Uh, we do a few fairs during the year. So we get to travel to New York, Florida, and things like that. Do you have a website or anything like that? Um, we do. We normally just do main, main locations like this. We're located in Tennessee, Gatlinburg, Cedar Point, and in South Carolina. So you guys are, do you have a booth number here at Florida State Fair? Yes. Uh, yes, we actually have two. This one right here and one in the Midwest. And you guys are located... Right here next to next to the peachy place. So everybody knows this place. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we're at. So come check it out. We're here till uh, the 20th, right? Till the 20th. Monday 20th. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to talk to us. Yeah, thank you so much. You guys are all welcome. Yeah, we want to. Get a picture or something. Yeah, of course. Thank you. I'm Patrick, and I'm still out here at the Florida State Fairgrounds, and tonight I'm with Karen Gomez of Canova Creations. So, tell us a little bit about what it is that you guys are doing here. So, we make very trendy, fun, and cute T-shirts um, of all different shapes and styles. We're um, extra small through 4X. We do 
you customs. It's awesome. Everybody likes a good t-shirt. T-shirts, stickers, hats. Sure. How long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing tricks on the side for eight years and full time three and a half years. Good. What inspired you to get started in all of this? Um, be my own boss. I make it on schedule. Great. And so, uh, do you have a website? Is there any place you can find you on the internet? Oh, absolutely. It's www.canovacreations.com with two cases. Perfect. Is there anything else that you would like to add for the listeners to know? Um, no, we just love you guys. So, when you're a customer of ours, you're always in a Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule today to talk to us. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Bye. So I'm still here at the Florida State Fair, and I'm currently talking to hey Brian. So tell us a little bit about what it is that you guys are doing here tonight. So here we have water parks. They're a reusable high voltage sports therapy pod. Uses it to the market. No microwave, no electricity. They're portable, uh, medical grade. They're great for muscle relief. Arthritis, muscle recovery, great for anyone on the go, anyone who plays sports, or any type of human. Wow, good, yeah, good to know. So, <laughs> what inspired you to get started into all of this? Um, actually, we love helping people, so this was definitely one of the one of the best ways to do it. You know, rather than sitting in an office, we were seeing 20, 30 people to come in for physical therapy, hoping to come and get the sessions. We're able to do events like this where we can help hundreds of people per day all over the country and get them set up to do self-treatment. So what inspired you into doing all of this? Sports injuries myself. <laughs> Most people, that's what happens. Yeah, sports injuries myself. You know, I'm just finding products along the way of my PC journey that uh, were easy to use at home, that I didn't have to go pay to get treatments for, and uh, kind of fell into this, and it's been amazing. Very cool. So, do you have a website, or where can we find you on the internet? So, online is Wonderpax, W-O-N-D-E-R-P-A-X, dot com, um, and you'll find our full line there, everything from neck and shoulders, to back, to feet, to issues with hands, and even eye masks for people who have headaches, migraines, or just simply love the relaxation aspect of the whole very cool. Is there anything else that you would like to add for the listeners to know? Yeah, we're here until next Sunday. You know, online you're going to see everything full price. Everything here at the event is either half price or bigger savings based on you know, the type of packages you get. Obviously, the more you buy, the more you save. We're here to serve and to help as many people as possible. So anything we can do to help you out, come by and let us know. We're here to serve. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to talk to us. Goodbye.